Ah, uh, yes, I think definitely Travis Scott's career is over. And why do I say that? Because if you're an entertainer and you cause this much damage to people, I don't really sincerely believe in my heart of hearts that your career is still going to be successful in the future. I don't know how much apologies that you can give to people and the people that you've hurt, those people that were trampled on, just the, the most minute damage that you've caused. I do not think people are going to take lightly on those things. These are the next generation. These are children of adults. And where it happened in Houston, uh, people are not going to be very forgiving for what he has done. This was callous, it was reckless, it was intentional. And I'm sorry to say, Travis and maybe the whole Kardashian clan by association, the, the whole Kardashian clan, I do not believe that Kris Jenner has no hand in this. She has the Midas touch when it comes to this is her niche. This is where she thrives. And if she was able to make her whole family famous, even right now, the child, the grandchildren are, you know, being exposed out there. I don't really sincerely believe that she did not have a hand in Travis, Travis Scott's career. I just want to send out prayers to the to the ones that was lost last night. We're actually working right now to identify the families so we can help assist them through this tough time. You know, my fans, my fans like, my fans really mean the world to me and I always just really want to leave them with a positive experience. Trust me guys, you are not missing much on this very, very fake apology. This is apology that was encouraged by Chris and just to do damage control about what happened and all the people that died and how this is going to end him. Uh, there was a uh, post that said that they sold out of 100,000 tickets. So I don't believe that there was only 50,000 people in that venue at that time. I believe that there was more than that. I believe that there's at least 100,000 people. If 100 thousand tickets were sold then they were all there i mean four hundred dollars for for a ticket no one was there there were no seats so you can't really say okay the people that paid four hundred dollars are all in the front and the people that just paid two hundred dollars one hundred i believe i believe it when they said that four hundred dollars per ticket is how much they charge for this and i calculated it and it calculated up to 40 million dollars $40 million for two hours of his up there singing about whatever. It's not even singing. It's like chanting. And, and it, it's like shouting. It's screaming. It's, you know, auto-tune and like a subliminal... Um, you know, sound waves that you're feeding into these kids. Kids are very impressionable. You can't tell me that there was no agenda for this. Okay. And he was up there and I believe in my heart of hearts, the reason why he couldn't really focus on what's going on is because he was hopped up on something really heavy that it just doesn't allow you to, you know, be aware that surrounds you and what's going on. If there's danger or not, they, the kids were saying that they were um, selling LSD, like at a venue where nine-year-olds and to 27-year-old kids are going to be LSD for $15. You can't make that up. 
not just one person, but multiple people have said that, that they were there. And not only that, did he make $40 million with the tickets that he sold, he also made money on the merch. And if you look at like, like the subliminal messages on these merchandise and the t-shirts and um, the the whole props that was that was at the venue there was an upside down cross there was there was a phoenix that was on fire like flapping its wings and flying around and the portal that where you can go into that portal from his mouth already once they opened the gates there were people trampling each other and if you look at the the videos of the crowd it looks like they were like this and they were like packed in like sardines. You can't even put your arms down. It, it's just crazy. What ha Whatever happened to all the seats? When I went to concerts, there were seats. Like that would be a better way to do it because you can control like the space in between um, audi the audience in between each other. You can control it. But if you're standing up and you're, si and you're just packed in like sardines not even sardines at least sardines have like spaces in between them inside the can this was like you're packed in and you are constricted and that this is why the kids said that they couldn't breathe they couldn't move it is now over i don't know if she gave some advice to him to make a video an like a really half-ass apology video which doesn't really resonate with anyone it, it doesn't resonate with his fans especially when you're going to give um some kind of a generic apology and it's not sincere and you're rubbing your forehead like this the whole time and no i mean the vulnerability of a person can show if you really really care about your fans that the vulnerability will show and if he had one tear come out of his eyes or his eye at least you know it could be construed as okay maybe he does have some kind of, of some kind of sensitivity and some kind of love for real love for his fans and these people were looking up to him these kids the really innocent people i mean even if you say that they were 27 people were 27 from 21 to 27 they're considered adults to me the gen this generation generation z is really not mature they're they're all about themselves it's the millennials were bad the gen z's are worse they were given everybody was given a trophy when they didn't excel because they their the parents or the adults didn't want to leave them out leave the ones who didn't win out so everybody was given a trophy everybody was given accolades for something they didn't really earn and they didn't really um do make much effort into i mean i'm not saying that all of them are but if you consider the place this is houston Houston is city is pretty progressive I don't know but it's still in Texas and there's still people who are very conservative in Houston I would I would assume but the fact that not probably not everybody came from Houston they probably came from nearby uh, states like Arizona California drove there um, all these places that that New Mexico and all these places it just goes to show that this generation is not mature enough they're irresponsible they're self-centered and I'm sorry to say but I blame the parents I blame the parents because if you don't start your child um, from the time they're born and influence them to do what's right and to have good discernment and be able to teach them while they're young to be able to discern if there are you know dangers that that are lurking and how they can um divert themselves and not go into this kind of a mess there was the barricades that were like really solid and and they were pushed up against it and i can just imagine 
Like if you were being trampled on as soon as you go in, because everybody was just rushing. It's a bum rush. It's like everybody was just rushing into the venue. When they opened the gates, I already saw people being trampled. And this is the beginning of it. And if you can, if you can imagine like once you're in there and people are jumping around with the music, it, what music? It's chanting. It's reverb. It's like, it's crazy auto tune and there's no melody there's no um you know dance rhythm there, nothing like that it's all noise and 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 like vibrating sounds call me old whatever you want to call me but if that's the kind of me or the kind of sounds that i hear i would that that would send me into a panic and it's going to give me anxiety. And even the people that were there early when they before they opened the gates, I think they opened the gates at like 930 or they got there at 930 and they opened the gates sometime later on 430 or something like that. Um, they were saying that they were already playing that kind of sound like a auto tune, like a it's not even music, but it's like trying to manipulate your mind and and the sound wave with sound waves and all that to be to have to listen to this kind of mu music is what they call it and pay your money to go to a concert that will hurt you i just can't i, I can't i can't i just can't wrap my mind around it it is so bizarre um, and this is not his first time. Uh, there's a lot of uh, reports out there. He was arrested for, I don't know if he went to jail or not, but um, I wish he did uh, because he could have learned from this lesson. But 2015, he was arrested for inciting um, like rowdy activities with his fans and, um, you know, coaxing his fans to jump off the third floor um, balcony. And also in 2017, he was again arrested, Lollapalooza or, you know, I just don't have all the details, but um, you guys can look that up if you if you want to get well deep in, into it. Yeah. Well, Travis Scott's it's on stage, like, yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm not like the guy that got like, you know, I had the backup dancers, I ain't got the drummers and that. No. I'm all about the blood. You know, we got to turn up. The you blood. Know, it's all about rage the blood. And just like the, Who's bleeding on stage? I mean, you know, I'm not bleeding, but the fans are like <laughs> I feel you. giving their bodies. So. But um, the fact is, is that this this is not the kind of person that you you want your kids to be their role models that besides yourself. But if you already don't have that that foundation in your home, then you know when they go outside like they said if you don't teach your kids the world will teach your kids believing what you say and what you say to them needs to be a, a solid foundation for them to grow into um i just i i just can't imagine and you know when i raise my kids and my kids are now raising their kids you know i can see that you have to really be on top of them otherwise you know, they would just, they have their own will. So they're just going to do whatever they want to do. And if there's no guidance there, this is what happens. I mean, there was a, a father who brought his, his um, nine-year-old child and put him on his shoulder. And then he passes out. And then his kid, of course, fell into the ground. And he didn't have any, he had no defense whatsoever his father is laid out passed out and he got trampled on he had injuries and his brain injury and lung injury and rib injury and some being trampled on i've seen girls they showed their faces where they have shoe marks on their head what is going on kids come on if you're in some kind of a venue like this and you're if you're stepping on someone do you not have any empathy for a person obviously they did not have any empathy whatsoever if they're stepping on anyone they don't they do not care there are other artists that were in their concerts people have passed out the, the artist was saying pick them up what's wrong with you pick them up you know help them up 
in this venue, no one cared. No, not one person cared. And people were just pushing you. And if you're being pushed like this, the, the lawyer for the one of the people who died, uh, I forget his name, 27-year-old guy, the father hired the lawyer and the lawyer said that there is a phenomena called um, compression asphyxiation. And I have asthma. Personally, I have asthma. And if people are, are just around me, like two or three people, I, I have anxiety because I did not, I, I don't want to not be able to breathe. But um, I could just imagine if you're being compressed like this from all sides, which people have said that, that um, they, they just couldn't move. Um, some people had the presence of mind to get out of there, just get out of Dodge, you know, otherwise they probably would have ended up passing out. People have died because they could not breathe. They could, oh, and this poor girl that was on the stretcher that just fell off the stretcher because everybody was panicking and nobody had the, the head part of the stretcher and she fell right in the ground, but she was dead by that time. Um, for $40 million dollars, it's probably not going to be enough for Travis to pay for all of these injuries, getting to a point where he's going to be canceled, which he should be. Because if you do not have any compassion towards your fans after what has happened in Astroworld, then you do not have any business getting their money, getting their support, getting their um, acc accolades. The deaths and injuries that occurred at Astroworld could have been prevented countless times. Travis Scott has been arrested twice for encouraging this type of behavior. In 2018, he was arrested for inciting a riot, disorderly conduct, and endangering the welfare of a minor. Two people were paid thousands of dollars because of the injuries they suffered. In 2015, he was arrested at Lollapalooza, for encouraging his fans to bypass security and climb fences. When Astroworld sold out, he tweeted this. The day of the festival, hundreds of people rushed to security. Someone could have snuck in a gun. He kept performing as an unconscious, possibly lifeless person was being carried out. The show went on as a medical car was trying to make its way to people dying people dancing on top of it. Cameramen were told that people were dying, but the show must go on. Eight people lost their lives, the youngest being just 14 years old. Ten-year-old kid had to go to the hospital as well, and hundreds were injured. The stories of those who were in the middle of this and survived are horrific. I really believe Travis is going to be arrested for this. I hope the victim's families sue and receive millions of dollars. Fuck him up! Fuck him up! Fuck him up! Get him out of here! Get him out of here! Let's do it.